What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new tweak called Apex 2. Now if you guys are familiar with Apex from iOS 6, or if you actually used it, then you're definitely going to love Apex 2 because it does the exact same thing. It's just been updated for iOS 7. So you can see right here, if we swipe down on an application, it's going to prompt us with our four customized applications that we set. So you can do this with any app, so you just swipe down. And you can see if I haven't set them, then we're going to get the plus signs. If we have set them, then you're going to see if we swipe down, it's going to prompt us with all those applications. So basically, it's putting a folder right behind your application. All you have to do to access it is swipe down. So to set these, it's very simple. All you do is swipe down on the application, tap on the plus button, and you're going to be prompted with your applications right here. Or you can actually search for one if you want to do that. But then once you find the application that you want to use, just go ahead and tap on it. And we'll go ahead and tap on some more here just to get a full folder. Now, one thing I have noticed is it kind of is glitchy right when you set it. So you can see right here that I don't actually have my applications all set up. But if you just kind of go back and forth a little bit, it actually refreshes there in just a minute. And then we'll be able to access all of our uh, applications. All right, so you can see that it's updated. We swipe down. We have all four of those applications. So if it does do that, just give it just a minute, and then it will actually refresh. So another really cool thing about this is how these applications expand. So you can see if you have uh, an app in the middle, then it's going to expand on every single side, all four sides. But you can see this one is actually over on the left-hand side, so it's going to expand two to the right, one on top, one on bottom. So this is all dynamic. You can move these around and it's gonna do the exact same thing. So we'll just move it up here to the corner. We'll swipe down and you can see we have two on the left and two on the bottom. So that's actually pretty cool. And it's also just that nice little animation it has that nice little bounce as you're pulling it down. Now, if we jump into our settings and we scroll down here to Apex 2, we're going to go ahead and tap on that. First of all, you have your user guide. So if you're having any issues, then you can always just jump into your user guide and that's going to allow you to uh, figure out whatever it is you need to figure out. Now, right here we have our visual indicator. So this is basically trying to tell you that you have applications behind that application. So we have the sub app previews on right now. So what this does, as you can see right behind that uh, app store icon we have a little bit of a preview of each of the icons so as you can see if we as we pull down let's go ahead and do that a little quicker you can see that those icons kind of peek out behind that uh, app store icon now if we jump back into our settings app try that again there we go and we go into our configure you can also use uh, just grabber so it's not going to give you that preview it's just gonna have a little bit of two clear grabbers on the top and the bottom right there Again, going back into the configuration, you can also turn off the uh, visual indicators if you want to do that. I'm kind of a fan of the sub app previews, but all the options are pretty good. Also down here, we have our sub app access. So you can either swipe up, swipe down, or double tap in order to activate this tweak. Now, since you are swiping down on the application in order to activate this tweak, you also can have spotlight access just by tapping the status bar just by doing that or you can keep it as swiping down I recommend go ahead and putting it on the tap status bar just because it makes it that much easier to access the status bar as you can see right there just a tap and it'll open now if we go back you can see right down here we have close on app launch we have aggregate badge count and we have allow creation of new so for close on app launch, basically all that does, if you have that toggled on, if you swipe down on an application to activate Apex, then you can tap on an application. And then when we go back to the springboard, Apex 2 has collapsed itself. But if we turn that back off, go back into the settings, swipe down here, turn that off, then you can see exactly what it does. If we swipe down, open up the Apple Store, and then go back to the springboard, we still have Apex 2 uh, expanded right there. Now we'll go back to the configuration. You also have the aggregate badge count, which basically just puts the total of all the badges right there on the top icon. Down here we have allow creation of new. So if you don't want to allow creation, so once you actually created everything, all the folders that you want to, you would toggle this off. And I highly recommend this just because uh, you can tell as I've been going through this video, every time I tap on the settings application, I'm actually 
activating this and it's kind of getting annoying. So I would recommend go ahead and setting up all your folders and then turning that on just because swiping down on the application is not going to activate Apex every single time. So that's really helpful. So this is a really cool tweak. I highly recommend checking it out. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.